Well, the economy has been hit hard, especially in recent months, with the war in Ukraine, rising interest rates, and the global pandemic. KCBY's Aaron Fay joins us live in the newsroom with more on how people should prepare. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Janelle. The Federal Reserve Bank did raise interest rates several times this year, and I spoke with an economist and a wealth advisor about how people at home should prepare. The coronavirus pandemic changed just about everything, including the economy. It's really hard for us today to compare things to history because we've never been through and come out of a pandemic, at least in a hundred and some years. Recently, the Federal Reserve Bank raised interest rates, and now people are asking questions about inflation as well as a recession. We're not in a recession right now. Dr. Peter Rupert, a professor of economics at UC Santa Barbara, said the key is not to panic. If you asked me, are we looking toward we're going toward a recession, I would say no. The unemployment rate is as low as it's ever been. Ryan Caldwell, the CEO of Wacker Wealth Partners, says raising rates is to help control inflation. The reality is inflation is the strongest we've seen in a very long time. And between the, the war in, in Europe and all of the money that was thrown at the pandemic, there are some real challenges to getting that inflation tamped down. And inflation's bad because, you know, what's happening is as, as prices start to rise, if wages aren't rising at the same rate as prices, then what that means is that people are getting poorer. Both Caldwell and Rupert say it is very difficult to forecast a recession. However, saving is key. If you have a credit card balance, get it paid down. Um, step two, in terms of, of saving money, I'm a big fan of automation. Some tips Caldwell mentioned was automatically diverting some of your funds into high-yield savings accounts and things like that. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.